Before doing updates to Epson Media Installer, if you have created any custom medias, also known as EMYs, it's important to back those up. And you can do that by selecting your custom media and clicking on the export button. You'll see this message. Hit next. You'll see this message, terms and conditions, then click OK. And then you can place this custom media or EMY wherever you choose so that you can retrieve it later. To install the new version of Epson Media Installer, version 1.8.1, launch Epson Software Updater. Click Yes, and then click on Epson Media Installer V1.8.1. Once the Epson Media Installer update is installed, then launch Epson Media Installer. You'll notice some differences compared to the previous version of Epson Media Installer. Each of these columns are now sortable. So in the media category, if you prefer to sort by the different types of papers, photo paper or proofing paper, others, you can do that. Most people will want to sort by the media name. And now it's much easier to find things alphabetically from A to Z. Notes stay the same. And if there's a note, an information eye icon, you can click on that and it'll have information. And there's some changes in the status. You're going to see many of these areas that'll say downloadable missing EMX. So if we go to Cold Press Natural and it says downloadable missing EMX, because of the update, we need to reinstall the EMX. And we can do that simply by going to Media Download. And because these columns are now sortable, it's very easy to find Cold Press Natural. And it shows right here that it's downloadable. So we select that, click Download and Register, click OK to download and register this to the printer. Then when you see Download and Registration of the Selected Media the Printer is complete, click OK. We'll go back to Media Management, look at Cold Press Natural, and we'll see that we're now ready to print. We recommend only downloading EMXs for the medias that you commonly use to improve productivity. In the status section, you might also see this message, import required missing custom media. This is saying that if you created a custom media, also known as an EMY, then that needs to be imported. Click here on custom media or whatever you named it. Click here on the import button. Locate the EMY or the custom media. Click open. And now that custom media is ready to print. And those are the key points of the update to Epson Media Installer version 1.8.1. It's a good idea to periodically check Epson Software Updater for updates to any Epson software for the products that you may have.